Well, they turned it into a convent and it doesn't look the same. I, when I walk by there, it looks run down and, but I remember just as good when I was a little girl. <laughs> the countdown this is day i don't remember what day this is i started on the 13th is now the 23rd so this is what day nine or ten day ten oh anyway i'm still at nana's house well i'm at nana's house <laughs> my mom that's what everybody calls my mom nana and um just been chilling all day my true intention was to get up and start cleaning but that didn't happen. I rested. When I said I rested, I rested. I have a lemon drop in my mouth, y'all. I haven't had one of those. As soon as I, yeah, I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, that looked like mama's bag of lemon drops. So I took it. I sniffed the bag. I stuck one in my mouth and I just broke out in a dance. I had to. <laughs> I haven't had one of these in a long, long, long time. It's but reminded me. It's reminded me when I was a little girl, and I used to go to yes. Kumbaya Nursery School. Now they call them daycare or early learning centers and stuff like that. But it was nursery school when I was growing up, and I remember Mama talking to me about um, going, and I went up until I was five. I went up until I was five. This is December twenty third. I don't remember my 23rd birthday, but I'm going to add those two numbers together and make five. And that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about what I remember from Kumbaya. I remember the building was dark. I remember it was dark. And there was a lot of hiding places in it. And the kids and I, we used to play hide and seek a lot. Teachers, they were nice. I remember them being nice. I don't remember them being mean. Um, I don't remember if the women who worked there were part of the Abbey. But I remember them being very, very, very nice. Very nice. We did a lot of color therapy. And we did a lot of socialization skills. That I remember. I remember celebrating my birthday there. I remember um, all these stairwells. The house was built like one of those homes that you would see in a movie. You know those homes with, you go through this trap door and there's a whole nother living space and all that. That's the way this house looked. It was, I remember it being dark on the inside. It wasn't a lot of light, but there's a lot of trees around it so it blocked a lot of sun plus on the outside you had to go up a lot of steps to get to the building now it's a convent well they turned it into a convent and it doesn't look the same i when i walk by there it looks run down and but i remember just as good when i was a little girl Mm. This candy is so good, y'all. Anyway, I remember one of my birthdays. We had one of my birthday parties there. And this one little boy named John. I remember that name. His name was John. He always wanted to play hide and seek with me. And then he wanted to hit me. I didn't like that. So one day that I decided I was going to hit him back. I planned how I was doing to do it, too. So both of us five, this little boy named John. And I went to find him. And he thought I didn't know his hiding place. He had a certain hiding place. It was in one of the trap doors. I opened up that door and I clocked him good. <laughs> yes, I did. I clocked him good. But one of the teachers, evidently she got to know me and my behavior. And she followed me. That's when I got in trouble. Then she asked me why I did it. And I said, because I'm tired of him hitting me. 
So he kept trying to say he didn't hit me, but she knew he was not telling the truth. She had this way of, she, she could tell which one of the kids was telling the truth and which one was telling a lie. And she figured out that I was telling the truth because it was out of my nature just to up and hit somebody. So yeah, that I remember. On my fifth birthday, I got a lot of noise around here. My sister was being busy fixing supper and now the furnace is on. So I'm not sure if you hear me or not, but I hope you did, but yeah, I clocked him. I clocked him good. What I also remember is we went on a lot of trips. This right here that y'all seeing right here, if y'all could see how I have my phone rigged up. <laughs> I am not at home where I have my tripod and my ring light. So I have it on top of a candle with the top on it, leaning, and the phone is leaning aside a vase with floral arrangement. So yeah, that's the reason why y'all see this right here. But anyway, I remember us going on a lot of trips and one of my favorite trips that we used to go to all the time was the circus. I don't remember where it was. I was too young to remember. But I remember we were always going to the circus and my dad was always coming. This is when my parents were still together. And I remember going to the circus and my dad used to always take me to the bears and take me to the, you know, to the real big animals. And I remember him saying, your daddy wrestled a bear before. I thought he was just joking. I did. I thought my daddy was joking, but he wasn't. <laughs> he was not. And my mom was telling me the story about it, which I'll probably share another time. But yeah, I remember we went on a lot of trips to the circus. We went to I want to say we went to the zoo a couple of times. I'm not sure if it was Natural Bridge Zoo or what zoo, but I remember us going. But that was my time in nursery school. It was it was a lot of fun, a lot. But that's what I remember. Uh, yeah, that's what I remember.